Find a kiss. George? Hello, my fellow snippers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I have a special guest today. Guess who it is? None other than my mother. And so we're just gonna call her my mother. Just kidding, her name is Marie. My mom? Yeah, that's right. But, but everybody can call me mom. Everyone can call you mom? Yeah. We have right here, Leo. Here's why we have Leo. I know he's been getting a lot of press lately, but he's my mom's favorite bird. He is. And he's probably the only bird that wouldn't run my mother out of the video besides for Picasso. So he has been just chilling on this box. And today, we have the best video for you. <laughs> Who better to help me with this video than my clean freak insane mother? And today's video is going to be seven tools to help you keep your house clean. <laughs> so <many fights. laughs> There's seven right here, Matthew. Oh, okay. Seven tools to help you keep your house clean when you have carrots. Seriously, these tools will help you immensely. It took me a long time. Look at my mom. She pretends she doesn't like not into the birds, but she's been like trying to get up in Leo's beak for like, the like whole Leo. time she's been visiting. Right, Leo? You like Leo? Yes. Yes. By the way, I am saving the best for last. So I'm starting with tips you might have heard me mention already, and then I'm ending with my favorite ones. All right, guys, you heard me talk about this a lot. This is one of the things that has literally made my life easier. Go ahead, mom, tell them what it is. One of Marlene's favorite things to do is keep her cages clean. So she lines them with these disposable underpants. Now, these are not like the doggy pee pads that you see in the pet stores. They're large. She cuts them to size. So whatever length the cage is, sometimes she can use just one. Sometimes she needs to use two. They're not expensive. Just like this and you are done. This is what a pack looks like. You can order it on my Amazon store. The link is down below. It's called Products I Love. I also put them on the bird stand. Oh yeah, I do. So don't cut it exactly on the size of the tray of your bird stand. Make it a little longer. Sometimes I've even taped it or put even a a little cardboard under it so that it keeps That's it stiff. That's a really good idea. If you put cardboard under it, this whole time I thought, why don't they make these things bigger? But if you put cardboard on top of that silver plate and then put this on top, yeah. you only extended it for big yeah. birds like Rocky. So then you won't get any droppings on the floor. That's what I do at home with my bird. Mind blowing, mom, mind blowing. I, know. I keep a scissors with it just so that it's always easy and accessible. A few points about these. One, you heard my mom mention they're not doggy pee pads. Doggy pee pads are treated with chemicals that are not good for your birdies, so stay away from that. And two, they're very absorbent, so any wetness that lands on here is gonna be absorbed. Ma. Yes. Are you excited about number two? I am, what is it? Number two could so be an honorable mention in your head, but like for me, if I don't have this, I can't, I go crazy. Like I don't wanna wake up the next day not knowing that I have these accessible, especially with six birds. Okay, what is it, mom? Our paper towels. You can't have birds and not have your paper towels. Now what I like about these ones is that they're selecticized. So you're not wasting a whole big sheet. You can cut it in half. These are great for quick pick-me-ups. The bird has done his business really quick. Pick it up, throw it out, you're good to go. My favorite brand is the Bounty, but lots of brands have the select a size. It sounds so simple, like who doesn't have paper towels? But I'm telling you, the select a size is so important. It saves so much paper and with birds you don't want so much waste going out into the earth but it's also very clean when you use paper towels it hasn't touched anything else before that's what makes it for the psycho clean now as we go up the list we're getting to more and more important secrets are you ready for number three i'm ready great what is it mom these brushes. Actually, Marlene is the one that gave me the tip on these brushes because I never would have thought of it myself. So this is great when you want to clean your bird's perch because you know it can get pretty messy up there. Wet down the perch and then just brush it clean. You can use a little soap if you want, but I find that just the little water works wonders. This one, believe it or not, is like a baby bottle cleaner. It's great for in between the bars of your cage and any corners or anything. It gets in there, cleans it when you're 
pages are done. I also use your toothbrush, mom, for the... My toothbrush? Yeah. Oh, no, you Just don't. Just kidding, but you can use toothbrushes for very hard to clean places. Now, you can get these in my Amazon products I love shop. Link is down below. And it doesn't matter what shape the brushes are. I like short handles so I can really, like, get in there. You know what I mean? Because, like, when this guy eats his strawberries, it's all over. All right, guys, number four. This, I don't even know if I've shared this with you guys before. You can find it in my mother's favorite store, a store which I clearly do not belong in. If you find me there, it means I'm doing something I don't want to be doing. Go ahead, Mom. Tell them what store it is and what it is that you find. Okay, it's from Home Depot or Lowe's. You can get it in any hardware store. And it is plastic sheeting. Now I want to tell you that this plastic sheeting is a blessing. The first time I ever used it and came up with the idea to use it was when Marlene came to Houston one time and surprised me. Not only did she come, but she also brought four birds and I had one bird in my house. So what I did was I made a whole big area covered in this plastic sheeting, taped it to the floor. And I can tell you, I did do it on hardwood floor, but it also works very well when you have carpeting because it really saves your carpeting. Then when Marlene left and took her four birds with her, up came the sheeting out the door. My house was still clean. Yeah, and you guys might recognize this stuff or not as painters like liner like when people are painting you line this on the floor and it doesn't have to be black it comes in clear it comes in white it comes in pink it's good to use the clear one over your carpeting oh yeah you it know, doesn't come in pink does it mom uh no you will see in the video i posted of jersey sneaking out of the door this was back when i had a bird room for my birds and i could not live without this lining on the bottom. It was just so helpful. You can probably see it in the video. It's like clear plastic and I used to like just move the cages, wrap it all up and throw it away. It was the best thing. Also, now I like to put this in the bottom of the Avery because the birdies like, you know, they make a mess down there with all their fruits and all their toys and beads and wood chips and everything that they throw. So it's called plastic sheeting. You can also get this in my link below called products I love if you are an Amazon shopper and do not have time to go to hardware stores or if you like don't really fit in one, you know, like if you wear unicorn buns and stuff. Those what? people. Huh? <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, you can cut this however you want. You can put it in the bottom of your bird's cage too if they're not gonna chew it up and you can put it on top of the stands. And if you run out of liners and you got this somewhere, this is great emergency backup. And it opens really wide, about the size of a room. So you're definitely good to go with that. Now, we are on to number five. We're getting in there. We're getting deep, deep, deep into the secrets. I can't wait for you guys to find out number six. Because I just discovered something about one of my favorite secrets, and I'm saving it. Okay, guys, I'm excited to tell you about number five. Because I'm not exactly the most industrial person, but I was sweeping my floor one day and I thought there has got to be a better way to do this all in one and then you know what I remembered janitors oh right then I set out to look for it and I found it and the day I found this and brought it home my mom was visiting and you know what she said she said how come you couldn't have found that last week and then she actually called me to find out how it was doing when she went home. Go ahead, mom, tell them what it is. In fact, I'm gonna put Leo aside because he might be scared of it. It's that big. Okay, and here it is. A very wide broom. It's a quick sweep. Really, it is a quick sweep for all those seeds, leftover fruit when they play with their wood toys and they've shredded them and they're all over the place. I'm telling you, that gets on my nerves, really. But so I have the broom and it's a blessing. It really is. Yeah. And just so you know, guys, some very important things to know about this. If you are uh, like me, you don't know these kind of things, but I had a hunch and that's why I look. This is like soft bristles. A lot of the brooms like this are literally for like outdoors. So you don't want to scratch up your hardwood floors. You got to look for the very special soft bristle mm -hmm. broom. And for all you women out there that like have someone that doesn't clean in their life, but tries to tell you how 
things should go, you go ahead and get your broom, okay? Because I was prevented almost from trying to get my broom when I was in Home Depot. <laughs> and like somebody was like, what do you need that for? You don't need that. You have a sweeping brush at home. And I'm like, you don't know. Because when Rocky throws all the wood chips on the floor and I'm like sweeping like with 17 strokes, and I was so disappointed because she got that the same day I was going home. I was so disappointed. I wanted to. What do you want to do? I wanted to sweep up. Yeah, because what you guys don't know about my mom and why she's the special guest here is because at any given time, if I call my mother when she's in Texas and I say, "What are you doing?" she says, "Um, I just got done steam cleaning the floor." I'm like, "You did that yesterday?" Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I love steam cleaning the floor. I like so, my floors clean. She likes them clean. And we probably should have had a steam cleaner in this because steam cleaners are oh. amazing. And they can get like the grout. That's mm -hmm. what it's called, right? Yeah, they can clean the grout. You can actually buy a grout cleaner. Put it on your grout. Let it sit there. And then go over with the steamer. Your floors will be gorgeous. This woman has brought me home every sort of cleaner in the entire world. She's like, this is a stair banister <laughs> cleaner. This is an inside the oven cleaner. Oh, Merlene, guess what I brought home? A special stair wood cleaner. I'm like, okay. And then she'll call and be like, so did you use the wall cleaner I bought you? I'm like, I don't know, Ma. Where was it? I just love cleaning. What can I say? So this is the most amazing broom in the world. Only good on hardwood floors though, like hard flooring. You know how some sweeping brushes, you can use them on your carpet? No, I don't Not know. Not this one. You can use a sweeping brush on a carpet? Yeah, sometimes they, you, if you have a nice sweeping brush, but this will not work on a carpet. Absolutely not. But if you have your lining down, a big area of your lining, and you just want to sweep it up, it'll work for that, but you're probably better off with a little broom for that. This is good also for outside. If you have your birds outside in the aviary and you want to clean it out, this also works great for that too. Right, Leo? It's a good investment. This is a good investment, guys. Okay, guys, number six is my absolute favorite. You've heard about it, but there's been a new development <laughs> on it, okay? I can't even believe, like, this made my world. Like, what is my life that I'm so excited about cleaning products? This, to some people might be known as a hide tool. I only know that because I Googled it. And other people as a painting scraper. For me and my whole family, <laughs> this has been renamed the shit scraper. Let me do a demo. Leo, if you mind, bird has went potty on the floor. This is the floor, okay? It's wet, okay, you didn't notice it, so it dried. You bend down, breaking your back, and you go like this. This doesn't work on hardwood, you'll scratch the floor, but on any cement or anything tile. like that, tile, yes, tile, you just do one scrape and it's loose, and then you sweep it up with your oversized broom. Okay, I used to get down and like scrape it. Now. What happened to me was this thing got lost and stolen and I especially like the bent one. So I threw like a tantrum. It wasn't really a tantrum, but I was like, I need one now. So whoever's going to Home Depot has to get me this. And the flimsy one, if it's soft, not as good. And we bring it home and my mother's visiting. Now my mom likes to stick her finger in holes. My mom likes to stick her finger in things, okay? She's been doing this ever I since. She's an investigator, okay? The reason she's here is because she's good at two things, cleaning and snooping. So, she snooped because this had a thing. No, listen, this is how it went. Tell us. This had a little metal plate here that it looked like it was a little bit loose. So I said, oh, let me see what that is. So I unscrewed it and then I realized this scraper that she has been bending down, the same scraper for years that she's had. She's not snoopy like me, I'm very snoopy. So she bends down and she cleans it and she cleans it, but guess what? You can take this and a sweeping brush pole and screw it in. And then there's no more bending. I did this for her and she was thrilled because now- Mind blown she, I was. Yes, mind, mind blown. blown. Can you imagine guys? I'm Snoopy. Exactly, Snoopy came through for us. Yeah. Okay, so now I just scrape it and it's all loose and then 
gets particles all over the floor, which then we can use our big sweeping brush mm -hmm. or little sweeping brush, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Or we can just let something else happen with ease, which brings us to number seven. seven. The thing that my mom has been dying for me to get out of the box ever Absolutely. since I brought it home. And I said, I cannot get it out of the box, mom. I have to do an unboxing for my sniffers. Are you guys ready for it? Mom, do you want to show them? I want to show them because this is my all out favorite. I use it at home every single day. It's like a lifesaver for me. I have two dogs in my home and I have big trees in my backyard and they bring in the leaves. So I use my Roomba. Yes. Best thing ever. Are we gonna open this box or we're not? Yeah, we have them? to open this box. We oh, have yeah, to show because... them what's inside it. I'm telling you, if you have pets, whether it's just birds or birds, dogs, cats, whatever. If you have a Roomba, your floors will be clean all the time. The beautiful thing about the Roomba is that it works on carpet and on hardwood floor. You can set it so that it comes on at the same time every day. As easy as it is with that large sweeping brush of hers. I still like the idea of just sitting with a cup of tea and watching the Roomba do the work. First thing you need to know that you probably will wonder about when you get your Roomba is why the heck it's going in no particular order. Well, this is made by iRobot and it's actually got a great science behind it. You will turn on your Roomba and it will like literally go to one corner of the room and then the other. And I used to think it didn't work because I used to move it and go, no, the mess is here. Like type A control freak personality on my Roomba. And then how I discovered it was amazing was one day I turned it on when there was a mess in my apartment and I left. And I came back and me and my roommate were shocked. The reason was because I left it alone. It's a science. Basically what it's doing when it goes from one corner of the room to the other is it's measuring. It's basically made by a robot. Yeah, so leave Roomba. it alone. This is the Roomba, nice How, and shiny. Yeah, it's beautiful and shiny. It's my third one, by the way. Is it your third? Yeah, it's my third. I can't live without it. It has nice big wheels so it can go from carpet to hardwood and hardwood to carpet. And when it's going around and it goes into corner, it just sweeps up all that dust and seeds and whatever you might have. You will be amazed at how clean your floor is. It does a better job than any sweeping brush that you could use. All has here its own collection tray, right? And all the dust will go in there. And basically you just open it up, dump whatever it's collected into your garbage can close it up and put it back. And it will tell you, it will say clean brushes, help Roomba. And the weirdest thing about Roomba is, don't you feel like when you first get it, should I leave the lights on for yeah, it? I do. <laughs> it's I weird, do. right? I'm like, oh, it's dark. Will it see where it's going? But it does have actually a little light. And I have to tell you a few other things about the Roomba. You can set the time to, it can untangle itself from so many things. It's very impressive. Don't forget it's small so it can go underneath couches and underneath tables. It's brilliant at going around in circles. When it detects a bigger mess than it was expecting, it calls that area a spot area and goes around it specifically. They also have the pet editions for hair. They also have an addition for tools. So for a warehouse that has lots of nuts and bolts, they have an addition that can just go around your warehouse and pick that up. And the reason I know that is because I thought, oh, maybe with all the seeds on my floor, I need something large like this. But this has been amazing in itself. If you have a lot of big birds with wood pieces, you could look into that. I personally haven't ever tried it. But it has these two laser beams. If you don't want the Roomba to go all around the house, let's say you have one room you want it to focus on, you put this at the entrance and it basically shoots a laser across and the Roomba will not cross it. It's like a virtual wall. And it has a charging station and it literally goes back to charging itself. It says Roomba, battery low, and it goes and does its own thing. So all you have to do is set it, clean it every once in a while, and you're good to go. But here's a secret sniffer tip that I wanna give you guys. If you need to do something, and by the way, the Roomba's very quiet, you know, it's not as loud as other vacuums, but if you need to do something and you don't want your birds running around all over the place, whether you have one or multiple birds, you turn on the Roomba, no birds coming down to look at what the Roomba's doing, okay? They're gonna stand up on top of the cage suspiciously 
and not move. Unless you got like a really excited cockatoo that's used to it and then he might ride the Roomba. But if Jersey was down for that, I would love it, uh, but yeah. she doesn't. All my birds just look at it like it's crazy. Do All any animals. of them make any noise when it's running? They could, like I haven't tried this guy, but basically, yeah, it a, becomes a constant noise that makes them want to talk and makes them want to engage. Yeah. Rocky, when he hears vacuums, he wants to be sprayed with water. Oh, really? Because my bird, what I have to do is that run it at night because he does not like the noise and he will scream at me to shut it off which I end up doing if I have to. So yeah, your bird may get very loud, but they also may start saying things that you never heard them say before. It can be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. So those are our seven favorite tools for keeping your house clean with a parrot and also for other pets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, mom, for coming on and uh, helping us learn how to clean a house. It was a pleasure, believe me. I, I'm telling you, I cannot wait to use this right now. Mom's gonna head right from here downstairs and she's gonna be like Vinny on a box, uh -huh. all like plugging stuff in uh -huh. and like finding out what's going. My mom has cleaned everything in this house that has been like confusing for me. I just hope there's a little bit of charger in there already so I don't have to wait. <laughs> I wanna use it right now. See, she gets excited. Yeah, it's my favorite item, believe me. Every household should have one. And if you have like a really big house, you might wanna have one for upstairs and one for downstairs and again there's lots of different models you can check them out in my link below called products I love it's an Amazon store so if you have Amazon Prime or regular Amazon it's so easy for it to just be delivered to your house and you can also check out other products that I love there which are recommended for birds birds to play with clean with birds don't forget to subscribe and follow me on other social media at Marlene McCohen on Instagram and Twitter I I love seeing you guys so much. Let me know in the comments how you like this video and what your favorite part was. I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye. How big does our hand look? You look like a little midget. Okay, go ahead. I look like a what? I look like a little midget, but carry on. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> go on then, do your thing. You're almost as funny as dad. I'm funnier. Carry on then. <laughs> These are the bounty. These are the bounty pants. Are you excited about number two? I am. What is it? I thought you hooked this up. No. Oh, number two <laughs> is. <laughs> oh shit. The, uh, there's a many of them that do come in different size, uh, different brands that have the selector size. Right, morning. Especially for let's start it over again. I've also used your toothbrush for the real hard to clean places. Yeah, I do that too sometimes, but it can be very <laughs> easy to. I felt a lot of shade there. Did you throw shade at me? What does that mean? <laughs> Shit beep scraper. Poop scraper. This has been named the poop scraper. Fucking curtains or things that go around. What kind of noise are you making over there, Ma? Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding. But you might want to see. Yeah, it's still recording. Why is it filming us? I don't know. <laughs> You're insane, FBI man. All right, I'll see you later.